Oh, oh my God, they're so cute. Oh, hello, little goats. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. goats. We're really grateful to be here and the reason we're able to have native Hawaiian communities in Hawaii is because we had a prince, his name was Prince Jonah Kuhio, He's from Kauai, from the south side, and a hundred years ago, he decided that to ensure a place for Native Hawaiians in Hawaii, he needed to play the game. This was 30 years after the illegal overthrow of Hawaii, so in case you don't know, we are occupied by the United States. And um, at this time, he thought I'm gonna become a politician and I want to gift my royal lands to the Hawaiian people, just over 200,000 acres. So that's really And then the mulch from the lava flow now on the top there, added more nutrients. This tree's almost done. Yeah, the tree's 
A little blessing of ocean water. Yeah. I'll start making it. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. That's amazing. All right, how many trees did we plant today? Six. Six. Six trees. That's epic. Six trees for a morning. Woo! For a morning. <laughs> best ever. Mwah. That's a great way to start the day. Yeah. That's the best way ever to start a day. Best way ever. Totally. totally. Best day. Best day ever. Jungle vibes. And then learn that that process and that's going to make see, make it easier to do the durians because durians need, need you know we have to cr construct those teepees for them and all that bigger job oh for the durians yeah okay so this is the butterfly pea and you can see it's got a blue flower there's the blue edible flower right there and i pulled it out from over there earlier and i was like oh let's bring it to the job site today but we want it close to the house because we also want to eat it so It'll just let it do its thing. And what will happen is it'll vine up on here and form a nice little shield for the shower behind there and it'll produce food. Pete. Well, that's amazing. Right right next to the kitchen. The blueberries. So there's the blue pigment that's found in the butterfly pea. And it's one of the most amazing color pigments. It's an anthocyanin. I think specifically it's a malvidin. It may also have peonidin in it. And it's the same pigments that's found in blueberries. Oh, the same pigment. That's amazing. Okay, we got that thing. Cover just to the left of it. Okay. So we gotta figure out a way to get in there. And not get, not get too beat up by the roses. This is where the lava flowed in 2014. And these are it's, it's all charcoal. It's all charcoal. Charcoal dohia or charcoal um hapu'u fern. Wow, that's amazing. So good for you. That's epic. It's like one of the best we did so much over here. Wow. Look at these ones here. The same. So this is this is kind of like the medicine that's always at your feet. Uh -huh. The medicine that's always available to you. The medicine that's for free in every forest. More evidence that the forest produces everything you need to live and be healthy. And when I mean everything, I mean everything. Everything. Inspiration, it's there. Uh, great place to go make love. Epic spot to go to meditate. Epic spot to get your medicine. Right. Where else are you going to find springs or water and food? No, you're not going to find that in the city. Right? In the forest. Forest. Forest has got it. It's beautiful.
good? Okay, let's move it into position. Start wrapping it. Black on the bottom. Black on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. So we'll start with that that one right there. That big one. Yeah. yeah. See if it's right here. I'll get it for you. Okay. Cool. Tape it up for you. I like leaving a little bit of a lip. That was smart. Me too. That goes good. Okay, so I'll send you over like. Crazy, the lava flow stopped right at the fence. Thank you. 